Dela Wright, my envies. Welcome. Happy weekends to my amazing Dela Wright. How are you guys doing? Okay, so very quickly, report reaching us right now as it is rumored, as it is reported, as it is, you know, um, 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 no be me talk, Hamley. <laughs> it's not a smart thing, you know, they said that Iyagba, Iyagba did not allow people to sleep. Oh. That Iyagba was crying, making so much for shouting in the palace, that they have brought another thing again, oh. that Blow Blow who walked in that evening brought some Something and drop in her own apartment, and that thing is meant to ruin Olori Naomi completely. That she has sworn that this that is about to happen will never ever happen over her pike, pike, pike. That will it happen? That blow blow has gone. That Kabi Esi should ask her where she has been in the last three days. That blow blow has gone to bring something again oh, to come and enter the palace. That that thing is around her own apartment. That they need to go in there and try and get it. That they said the woman cried so much and made so much fuss. Okay, so now for those of you who may not know who Iyagba is, they said Iyagba happens to be the oldest woman in the palace of the Oni of Ife. And uh, they said this woman used to be absolutely close to Olori Naomi while Naomi was in the palace. And they said that she is so well respected and loved in the palace that she is blind, <laughs> but she can see more than anybody. You know, these people with two eyes, okay, even though they are blind physically, but spiritually they see everything that is happening. So most times that stuff has happened in the palace, she's been the one who will raise a lamb. She's almost like, you know, the one who guides the, the palace. And as it concerns Olori Naomi, that woman does not joke. The woman said that she is not even going to join her ancestors until she sees um, that Olori Naomi is reunited with her husband, the Oni of Ife. So as rumor has it right now, they said, you know, the woman is not even able to walk because she is so old. But <coughs> sorry about that. They said the grandchildren used to carry her on a, a wheelchair, okay? Now, um, in the interest of those people who still don't know, um, the palace community is a gated community that is um, that, 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 that harbors a lot of people, traditional people, if I believe us, or if I uh, descendant, or what do I call, if I... Um, um, uh, 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 what uh, religion? They are all their own religion in the palace. Actually, is the Ifa uh, religion? Okay, and I hope that a lot of you do know that Ifa is also a religion. For those of you who come to the comment section and tell me why would they be worshiping? It, it's it's their religion. People are entitled to their own religion. Okay. So this woman, Iyagba, they said they had to bring her out in the night around 1 a.m. They said she got up, she refused to sleep, go back to sleep. They were talking. She said they must bring her out. They must bring her out. They must bring her out. When they brought her out at night, she was crying and making so much noise that they have started again, that they need to go and call KBAC out. Who goes to call KBAC at that time of the night? And you know that KBAC, they don't call KBAC. Um, um, if KBAC is needed outside his uh, chambers, they don't call like somebody will go and start knocking boom, 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 for KBAC to come out. They don't do that. They use um, some kind of talking gun. It's a talking gun that they use. And when he hears that talking gun, the talking gun, of course, is um, right there in the palace and he will hear. And when he hears, he comes out on his own. So because of the way Yagba was crying that night, he says he wanted KBAC out. But you all know that the palace community is a huge community. By the time they released that talking gun at that time of the night, that means waking everybody. And they could not. They said, no, they were not going to do that. That Yagba will have to wait till morning. And Yagba said she's not going to sleep. They said the woman refused to sleep. The woman refused to go back to bed, that she is not going to be sleeping when things are going wrong. That that coming, because I said Blow Blow um, entered the palace, and she did not, that she entered the palace and she was in her own apartment and she left. Now, it's important to um, understand that they are saying, allegedly as it is rumored, that 
for the last couple of weeks now, um, maybe three weeks in a row, it's been very, very challenging for Blue Blue and um, Ikwe in the Palace of the Oni of Ife that uh, they come and they go. They are not able to be situated in the palace for something that is plaguing them, and that is what we have been hearing the entire time. Now, if this information we are getting is the truth, apparently she had gone to look for something to, you know, um, a soft pedal that situation, and uh, maybe that is what Iagba had. That was what I t thought when I first heard this information. Now, um, it is it is also important for me to remind you that these are all alleged information. These are not first-class information. I do not live in the palace of the Oni of Ife, neither am I related to anyone who is related to anyone who is related to the Oni of Ife. These are all alleged information. And um, bear in mind um, that they are all alleged. And also, whatever you get on social media, you want to take it with a pinch of salt, okay? So now, Romo has it again you know, that, uh, when she and um, Blue Blue came into the palace, she was in the palace inside, being restless and holding herself to do what she thought she needed to do at that time, okay? And that was exactly what she was doing. And, you know, she stayed there, did what she did, and she left. Now, they say because of some kind of plague, they are not able to rest in the palace. Whether that is what Oni of Ife wants, or if it is the ancestors, because some people are saying it's the ancestors, and other people are saying it may be um, Oni of Ife um, removing staff. Some people are saying it's uh, coming from Olori Naomi. Some people are saying it's coming from the Biri A lot of people are saying it's coming, it's a repercussion coming from from the Biri reports. Okay, so right now, as we are hearing, they say she came, she was there for some time, and she left. None of them have been able to sleep in the palace since that day that this whole thing started, as we heard. Welcome back to my channel. It's Ugea Della Rama. I bring you fresh and spicy juice from the south. It's still on the royals. How are you guys doing? Dale right, my Dale right, my Dale right, my own people. Dale right, my Dale right, my Dale right, my super people. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate you guys um, saying thank you to you. Can never be overemphasized. Uh, thank you, Dela Wright. I love you guys so much. Happy weekends to you. May your weekend be great. Enjoy you. Please enjoy, okay? And so they say Yagba was crying the entire time. And uh, that the Yagba cried until they had to go and use the talk talking gun that brought Kabiesi out that night, as we are hearing it. And so when Kabiesi came out and Kabiesi listened to what Yagba had to say, KBSC swung into action immediately. Now, the reason is because Yagba is a very reliable um, um, uh, a woman and she is old. Everything she has ever said in the palace has come to pass. And um, um, then, uh, because of what she said, um, he, um, Oni of Ife had to swing into action. I'm going to get you that action um, in the next video. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you.